Hello, my name is Natasha Kumai, and I live in the East Below. Being originally from South Chicago, I'm a big Blues Brothers fan. I love music and I hate Illinois Nazis, and that's how I first heard about being in Illinois. Being black and Jewish, I got involved in anti racist activism and I joined the anti Nazi League and Sharp as you. And I heard this area had a Nazi problem. The problem was in the form of one man Hale and his organization, which was at the time known as the World Church of the Creator. Uh, my anti racist group came down here to oppose those Nazis, but I was not biased against only myself because it was considered too dangerous. So I had missed hearing the hate speech directly from Matt Hale in the 1990s, but I didn't miss out on the effects of that hate speech. When my uncle Edward's co worker at Northwestern University, Ricky Birdsong, was gunned down in cold blood by one of Hale's hateful sycophants, and Jews across the city had to hide in the synagogues on Shabbat until the gunman who was firing at random Jews and black people on the street was stopped. February 13th, here at the Peoria City Council meeting, I had focused my comments on the idea that this was not a local government issue because I got in thinking that I was opposing an otherwise well-meaning group who was concerned about civilians in Gaza. However, I heard what I heard was not a mere concern for the citizens of Gaza. In fact, I heard very little about the actual plot of Gaza, and I heard absolutely zero about the efforts to get Peoria to somehow help Gaza. What I heard instead were echoes of Matt Hale and the vile shoe hate from Central Illinois, which terrorized Jews and black people in Chicago in my youth. Matt had morphed the balloon out into a new form called Zach. I heard the flashboy language again, just like in the Matt Hale days. Zionist used as an epithet. Occupation used incorrectly to apply a foreign nature to the Jew. Cries that the government was supporting a Zionist occupation. Ah, there it is! Saw! The Zionist occupational government, the classic neo Nazi concocted myth that Jews held all Jews' self interested influence over our government. I heard attacks against the concept of Jews as a chosen people, as being some racialized concept when it simply means chosen to spread the message of the Torah. I heard baseless blood libel accusing the idea of being rapists and pedophiles, and I heard bloodthirsty murderers in Israeli prisons who had literally massacred Jews being referred to as innocent hostages. Try to equalize them with the actual innocent hostages, including babies who had been abducted on October 7th. Maybe these people were more aware of the connection between the founder of the Palestinian statehood movement, Mufti al Hussein, and his boss, Adolf Hitler, than they are willing to admit. Matt Kale would be proud. When I heard the hate speech spewed forth in the Peoria City Council meeting, I felt maybe I should have told a little bit of my story rather than arguing in good faith and basic logic. So now I'll tell you a little bit. I have experienced anti-Semitism and hate in Peoria, and only from people from the Palestine movement. Yes, there was also Muslim and 